Alright, so this is in Oni's sword base on Halo Reach. We're going to show you how to get a couple of different vehicles over a barricade to fight Hunters Beyond. Uh, we're going to show you a couple of other vehicles that we haven't tested out yet ourselves, so uh, let's just enjoy the ride. Again, this is Oni's sword base. We've already got a couple of revenants, revenants, a ghost, and some other vehicles outside, as well as a wraith inside. I'm bringing in a warthog right now. We have a couple of other vehicles back here that I'll just go grab real quick. And then we'll show you how to get over the barricade with all these various vehicles. And show you a couple different methods. See, I love it. You give them a vehicle, they'll hop into it and start fighting these guys themselves. Yeah. Hey, you don't really have to do much anyway. Now, you could just, in reality, take a vehicle over and start fighting those guys if you have already stockpiled a lot of vehicles like we already have. But, we're going to clear it out real quick, just so that we can show you the rest of the vehicles in peace. First one I'll show you, since we already have it set up, is how to use one vehicle to propel another over. Can you move over a little bit, dude? Just a left. Okay, so first you need a clear space. Here, let me get this ghost on your way. So, clear all the other vehicles out of the way. This will just prevent you from getting a nice boost speed. You're basically turning your vehicles into ramps. And the Revenant is perfect for that because it has this conular shape back. And then you can just ride right up it. I think even this can go up it. Drive revenant. Okay. Alright, so. You just pull back as far as you can. And boost straight into your vehicle. And propel yourself forward. Then you can fight anybody out here, no problem. Same thing. Nope, not with the ghost. Okay, now another uh, couple of things that can help you out if you don't have another player but do have one vehicle stuck behind are these little boxes. You can just shove them down towards the exit. Now at any time you're going to want to start breaking these barriers. Oh, and apparently wraiths when the door closes disappear. That is unfortunate. But that just means that you can't bring a wraith through no matter what. Well, yeah, actually, no. no, we could have because the door was open. Well, no, because the it's up to the ceiling. And no, we just got a checkpoint. Don't do that. Okay. So you're going to want to blow up the barrier for some more vehicles. Like, the ghost is a little hard to bring out. If you don't, if you haven't already blown up as much of these barriers as possible. See, you just pretty much ram into them if you try to do anything else. If you noticed, I used that little, uh, what was it, that little container? That little round container to help boost them over the edge. It flipped my uh, revenant up just enough that it caused me to go up and over Propel instead over. of hit it. Okay. Another vehicle that is hard to get over is the Ghost. As you can see, because of how low it rides, it usually just drops and flips. Now sometimes you can get lucky and flip it over the edge as you saw it almost do right there. But usually you end up having to get more parts involved. So you have one here, and then maybe you collect up some of these chunks that you've knocked out of the Those are bombs. Barrier. I don't want to use those. But do not use any bombs, because if you ram into it, you might blow up and just destroy your vehicle. If not you as well. Use as many chunks of, of you know, uh, of brick as possible, because they don't move as easily as the ram containers. And are perfect to hold your ramp. 
I think the AI right now is continuing our battle for us. So I'll attempt it with two of the round things. Uh, well, I mean, one of the round containers Hold on, and I'm two of the bricks. As you can see, I got just almost over the edge. So uh, I could just use maybe a little bit more blocking it up. All right, while he gets that better situated, I will get out of the way and prepare for my last four. Excuse me, duck duck. Hold on one second, I'll get this in here. All right. And flipped it over just close enough that I can go on this side and finish it off by pushing it. Nope, wait, we flipped it too bad. But really this is a trial and error thing. You have to continuously try if you really want your vehicle through. And I happen to like a ghost, so we're going to try something we haven't tried yet. And try to get that ghost into the elevator beyond this, if we can get it over again. Alright, ready? Alright, pull back. I'm going to try this Warthog real Here, quick. Here, actually, you know what? Bring those containers a little bit closer to me. As you can see, the warthog goes Makes right it over. Very easily. Because it because it rides a little higher than the ghost, it flips right over the edge, no problem. But let's try this ghost again. Make me the pile a little bit higher, maybe, just to give it a better boost. No. Nope. Ooh, no. There and it there it goes. Like, again, just kind of a trial and error thing at that. Okay, I'm gonna leave my ghost out here. All right, now we'll show you how to fact that get I the ghost like... into the elevator. This is easy mode, so it's actually not too hard to do any of this stuff. I'm going to go grab a revenant just to finish off these hunters quickly. Okay. okay, now we'll show you how, if it is possible, to get that ghost into the elevator. Something we have never before attempted. It would be a serious help to be able to keep that ghost up until the next level. And... You should, and let's go. This is the ghost inside the elevator. <laughs> we have not tried it without being, without riding the ghost, and by the looks of it, it would be wise to continue riding it. Now you have a ghost indoors. Which, as you can see, makes this a very quick and easy little fight. Come on, next area. Okay. And in this next area, it allows you to just zoom right past any of the enemies and really just open the way up for anybody following behind you. Saving all of your ammo for when you really need it, like these elites that just happen to get away from his main assault. Here, let me drive. Um, Can you do it? Come on. There you go. Don't worry about our allies. Just drive right through them. They're stupid for being in your way. Oh, yes. Like me. Okay? <coughs> Try to let your ghost be in the lead. That way any enemies that are in here just get run over. I the pain in the ass. Elite. Alright, now come back this way, go up the stairs. And now we still have all of our ammo and we still have our ordnance gun from the beginning of this level to use on the banshees on, out, on the outside. 
Anything he has trouble with, you clean up with the shotgun. This two-pronged attack will get you through most levels really quickly. Commander, the space won't survive under the salvo from that corvette. Kill those banshees. Now, when the enemies drop off, to drop off invisible enemies, you can just ordinance away your enemy before they even come in. making quick work of any foes. Now, if you're able to pick up a, uh, a Banshee early on in the game and keep it all the way through the map, you can actually have two if you stack them on top of each other. Inside. Oh, you mean the ghosts? Yes. Not They're Banshees, ghosts, ghosts. Ghosts. So you can actually bring two ghosts through that level. But you it's just kinda very difficult to get them both in the elevator. I would assume. I would assume that you'd have to press the button and get back in your yeah. ghost instantly. Alright, and so that is how to get vehicles past the barricade in Oni's sword base, and then how to take a ghost all the way upstairs to help them.